Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore an open source project called Tripo SR. So Tripo SR helps you with 3D reconstruction from 2D images. Now, if you have a 2D image and you want to uh, reconstruct that in a 3D, you can use this project. Okay, and they have and they have been they have been doing really great. I've been following them. Okay, and how you can use that with uh, stability AI as well. You know, basically there is there is some collaboration the Tripo SR has with stability AI to come up with this model. It's an open source uh, model that you can you can leverage it in your project, and it's an MIT license. So you can also leverage this to build solutions and sell it. Uh, you know, so it's, it's, it's basically commercially available as well. And and I was going through it. I like the project and I was really impressed by the 3D reconstruction from the 2D images. And let's have a quick look and see how we can perform this in Colab, Google Colab, because they have given us a Gradio application as well to deal with. So we'll just uh, fork the repository, install some requirements and load the Gradio file to perform a 2D to 3D reconstruction. So let's jump in here. And if you look at here on my screen currently, I am on Tripo SR GitHub repository and you can see the input images and Tripo SR outputs. You can see, right? It's really great, you know, if you are working in the field of mechatronics, robotics, and things like that, or also with the, you know, spatial computing where you where you have a need of 3D images, icons, avatars, things like that. Probably you can leverage this to build those kind of capabilities. Now, if you scroll down, they have, you know, the research paper, go through the technical report to understand more of the technical nuances, like what do we mean by large reconstruction model, the LRMs, and things like that. I'm not going to go dive you know deeper into this for now we're going to just try out the project so i'm going to try this on google collab so let me just first the first thing that we have to do is of course we have to git clone the repository and you need either v100 or a100 to deal with so i am already on uh, v100 as you can see it over here now i'm going to do git clone this repository so let me just copy this out come here https and i'm just going to clone this here now once I clone it, I will just install some of the requirements. You can see we have cloned and if you refresh this here, it will be right here in the left hand side. And we're gonna make some changes in the Gradio app. I will tell you in a bit, but let's first go CD inside it. So percent, this is how you CD inside Tripo SR, this is fine. And now let's install the requirements. So pip install hyphen R requirements txt. And this will install all the requirements that are, those are needed for you know this project. So you can see it's installing a few things to take a bit of time to do that. But then let let's wait for it to install. You can see it's installing transformer, the newest version of transformer. Yeah, and also, meanwhile I will upload the image here. So let me upload an image. I'm gonna upload a couple of images probably. Okay, so let me just upload these two here. And uploading a 2d image and you can upload any kind of images guys you know if you want to reconstruct some for example uh let's take example of a burger if you want to uh, create a 3d image a 3d model from a 2d image you can use uh, these uh, open source project tripo sr and it's installing meanwhile we have to make a bit of changes here on that because the gradio app which that you see it over here i'll just uh i'll just make share equals to true because i want to open that in a new line so i'm not going to pass that as an argument so i'm not running it in a command line right so i'll just have to make that change let's wait for it meanwhile if you can come here you can read more about this here they have a technical report let's open the report if you click on view pdf and you can find out the report over here and you can see fast 3d object reconstructions on a if you are using a hundred they take around five to six seconds which is really fast for a 2d to 3d reconstruction and i have seen a lot of huge cases in medical industry as well in the medical imaging when i say uh, when you have for example brain 2d images from ct scans or anything like that you can do a 3d reconstruction of the human brain or the images coming out of a ct scans how do you reconstruct those how do you reconstruct an image coming from an mri scans like you know uh, anything related with the uh, bones or any other uh, parts of the human body so those kind of reconstructions you can do it with this you know of course you can make a bit more advanced and they have a good report that you can read it over here As you can see the acknowledgments only a four pages report okay, and this is 
this is what it is and let me just come out here and we are almost done guys it's building the will and let me open grad over here so let me just come down and i will scroll down to uh let me see to if name submit i'll just make this a bit here Poof. if name to 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 and you have this share arcs dot share what i'm gonna also i can make a change here i can just call it share equals true and this should also do control s and you can also pass it if you look at this they would have given you some command to also you can see this is how you can do a manual inference python run examples chair png you can put the examples and then it will generate now we can also try it out if you look at the examples folder you can upload the images over here so meanwhile let me also do that okay so i'll also upload the images here okay so we can also try that out brain couple of images goes inside this and yeah Mm, 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 I think it's still installing. Let's wait for that to install. And let me pause the video here, guys, you know, because it takes a bit of time to install. I will come back once that installation is done. All right, guys, you can see you have to restart the session once you install it. And then I also installed Gradio because we are opening that in a gra within a Gradio app. So you have to install Gradio. Once you install Gradio, you have to just do Python Gradio underscore app dot pi. When you do Python Gradio underscore app dot pi, it does a few things. Let me tell you what it does. It first downloads the model. You can see it has downloaded the model CKPT checkpoints with the config yaml and it's around it takes a bit of time because it's around 2 gb of size so you have to download the model and once you download the model it also downloads the onyx file of that you can see downloading data from this blah 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 and then running both locally and on the public url so i opened the public url over here in the new tab as you can see this is how it looks like you know you can try it out with some sample examples that they have given over here and then you can also you know upload something directly so for example if i upload a here a brain image you know and they can again do a bit of pre-processing within that and you know you have a foreground ratio uh, marching cubes resolutions and things like that so a bit of pre-processing before you pass that to uh, the generate now if you read it says tripo sr is a state of the art and i believe it's the state of the art open source model for fast feed forward 3d 3d reconstruction from a single image collaboratively developed by tripo ai and stability ai if you find the result is unsatisfied please try to change the foreground ratio it might improve the result blah 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 we'll try it out i'm not saying that okay this is the best image to try it out we can try some sample examples as well but let's see that And you can see it has removed the background. I did a bit of pre-processing with the pixels, compressions, and things like that to uh, on the images with the size, dimensions, whatever. And I didn't get uh, the model shown here is flipped. Download to get correct result. Mm, if I come back here, mm, let me download this. Uh, it's an object then we have to load that in a, a tool that supports that but this is you can see the glb format i will also download that so one is a object the other is in glb format and yeah and you can see it's come can completely flip that so let me just click on object right over here and you can see how it's able to move okay uh all right this is cool now you can try it out with something else so for example if you want to try it with this chair click on that click on generate once you click on generate it will load for that chair also and if you look at most of the images they are like the background background is the key guys you know if you have to uh, uh look at that background but if you look at the download that i have probably you need a you need a tool that will take this dot obg and basically to play that okay now if i look at this 
this is the reconstruction that you see it says the model shown here is flip download to get correct results you can download it out as well and test that okay if you try to run this it will not work out guys say the file does not have an app associated with it for performing this action okay but you can try it out you can draw you can also do it in blender as well if i'm not wrong so you can do it in blender load that install blender load the file and try to uh, play around that file okay now this is what it is now if you look at these this is like a home architecture or something and if you click on generate and yes you can see how fast it is okay but it didn't okay it, it took that and it's really fast it took around five to six seconds you know on a v100 gpu to get the reconstruction in 3d okay and it takes a bit of time to load let's wait for that let me bring out my monitor charger all right you can also remove that and uh, let me try it out one thing guys 3d viewer if i go to 3d viewer.net let's try if that file works okay so what we can do drag and drop 3d models here why should i drag and drop? don't you have an upload thingy okay. let me see if i can drag and drop that here somewhere and you can see that okay the same thing you can see it over here uh, I'll make this up dark you can see the quality is probably not that well you know for the image that I uploaded of the brain this is of a brain uh, scan that we have a brain image coming in this looks good you can also play this okay I'm not really versed with these kind of tools but you can play it out and try to understand more here you can also upload your file you can open it from URL and things like that yeah but this is what it is guys you can see it over here I just wanted to quickly capture this and show you so let me upload a new image okay i'll just upload the other part of the brain image that we have let me upload this one yeah this looks good i'm going to upload this image also i'm going to download this because i will validate this offline with some of my friends to try to understand more that how these kind of huge cases can be helpful you know in the medical industry using these kind of 3d reconstructions that we have okay so i'll just use this here and let's wait for that i can also I'll, meanwhile i can download it once that is loaded okay so let's wait but you can use 3d viewer.net online to try it out probably you do not need a tool also you can also download it into there are a lot of free tools also available to view the 3d viewer and do whatever you want to do with that okay now let me just download this thingy here and also download the glb yeah, I've downloaded both. It's downloading it. That's what it is, guys. I wanted to cover this uh, topic in this video. I just wanted to introduce this tool, Tripo SR, so you can try it out and let me know your findings and views on this tool, how, uh, how you are leveraging or how you want to leverage this in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. If you have any questions, thoughts, feedbacks, let me know in the comment box as well. If you like the content I'm creating, please hit the like icon. And if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in near future. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.